<clears throat> All right, first and foremost, we're going to give our praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. The one third here in America, Babylon the Great, who the Lord will have mercy on. And your brothers and sisters scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that are also part of the elect. This is the book of 2nd uh, Ezra 15 and verse 1. <clears throat> See, because <clears throat> before I get that, I want to say, See the men of the Lord out in highways and byways, putting up videos, warning our people of the coming destruction and of the salvation coming of Yahweh Shah. You know, which which also is going to be the destruction brought by Yahweh Shah as well. You know, but warning our people of the coming of our Lord. You know, and He comes as a thief. You know, we we warn them that He's 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 not only coming to um, bring salvation, but destruction is coming as well, man. You know, because. Hey, the, the churches don't teach our people that destruction That the Lord is bringing destruction They teach you that Satan is bringing destruction You know Satan which you know but Satan and, um, I'm going to say Esau the so called white man The devil that the Bible speaks of Yeah how about Shah used him On the left hand side man. You know just like he used The right hand angels and used Yahweh Shah to bring salvation You know he going to use this devil Um <clears throat> To come down on, on 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 his people, man. You know, in the time of Jacob Shovel, you know, which going into another lesson, but he's gonna use his devil to come down and he's gonna put it in the mind of these kings and um the kings of this earth of these different nations, these lands, hey, to shoot nukes over here on this place, man. To totally wipe out America altogether, man. You know, as the scripture said in uh, uh, Isaiah 34, you know, how this place is gonna be a utterly utterly desolate, it's gonna be most desolate. It's gonna be uh, um only the only the these unclean birds and these um the desert creatures are gonna dwell here, you know. Hey, because of his wickedness, man. Because of the, the wickedness that are here, you know, the, the wickedness that is here, Babylon the Great, because it's exceedingly great, you know. Scripture say it had reached the uh, the heights of the heavens, man. You know, so it's um <clears throat> so therefore the Lord is gonna reward this place. With straight destruction. So this is the book of uh, Second Ezra fifteen and one, and it reads and says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth," said the Lord, and saying, "Cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." You know, and and what we were speaking, you know, the men side and how the men that are out of highways, byways, prophesying, even prophesying in the wind. We're speaking of the coming destruction, coming salvation, the woes, you know, the limitations, you know, the, the, and we we warning our people, according to, um, according to the Lord, man, you know, being that mouthpiece of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. Again, um, <clears throat> letting our people know, hey, if you don't get right, hey, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Hey, and what's getting right, man? Turn it back. Repent, seeking Yahweh Shem Yahushai, while he may be found. Because if you don't seek him while he may be found, when it come down to it, it's going to be too late to seek him. You know? It's going to be too late. Because he's not going to he's not gonna hear your prayers, you know, when that death and, when destruction come upon you, man. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 15. It said, Behold, speaking now in the ears of my people, you, the Lord's people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The words of prophecy, which means to say before, you know? The prophesies is to say before. A like prophecy is what's going to happen in the near future, man. You know, it's, it's prophecy is future, future tense, man, and it's going to come to pass because Yahweh Shemel Shai is not a man that he should lie. You know, neither a son of uh, son of man that he should that he should repent, man. And his words not going to return unto him void. You know, <clears throat> and you're going to fulfill every every word. That he said that go forth from his mouth. It says, <clears throat> which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So it's not even us, it's not of us. Yahweh Shemel Shai put these words in our mouths and he used us as a vessel, you know, to, to do his bidding, man. You know, as, as far as, you know, going out into the highways and being at, um, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. 
you know, ultimately, Lord willing, to receive the reward of salvation and to reign with Yahweh Shemel Shah in the kingdom of heaven. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, the unbelief, which or incredulity means unbelief. Let that not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. See, because we are we are commanded not to fear those that don't believe, man. Because as the scripture goes into, which is going to be the next scripture, the very next verse, all the unfaithful, I just read it, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See, because we don't, we don't, we, we fear you how about Hashem, you how shy. You know, it's, it's a wise thing to fear him. Scripture tell us not to fear a man that could be able to kill both the body and soul. You know, I mean, it's like it, they're just able to destroy the, the body, man. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both the body and soul, man. You know, which is the creator, the father of spirits, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, which is his son, man. Yahweh in Yahweh Shai. You know, <clears throat> it says, it says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword and famine and death. Famine, death, and destruction. You know, all this is um it's prophetic, man. And this we we're telling our people, man. We're telling you, hey, the destruction is coming. Yahweh Shemel Shah saying it plagues. Famine. Famine is coming, man. You know? Famine is coming. Not not being able to eat is coming, man. That time is coming. And you, you see the inflation, you see how